Hey, I'm Luke, and this is a quick video showing you how I use Assistive Touch to navigate my phone easier. I'll show you how I set it up first, and then I'll show you how to set it up on your phone if you want. Let's get started. So I usually keep the Assistive Touch button here on the right side of the screen in the middle. That way, if I'm using the phone with one hand, I can easily push it with my thumb. So pushing it once acts as the home button, so I'll go ahead and do that. And then if you push it two times, it acts as the application switcher. So I'll go ahead and push twice, and then the open programs that I have will come open, and I can select which one that I want. And then I set long press to take a screenshot. I take screenshots all the time to remind myself to do things or to send to friends on Instagram. So all you have to do for that is hold down, and then boom, it'll save it to your photos. And then finally, I have hard press. So if I push hard or force touch, uh, another menu will come up. And this is how I had it previously set up before I got my iPhone X, but sometimes I still do use it to lock the screen if I just want to do it with one hand and not have to pick up the phone. The control center is pretty accessible and easy now, so I don't really use assistive touch to get to the control center since it's so easy at the top right but you can add other functions to this menu if you want, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So, the easiest way to activate assistive touch is to use Siri. So you just hold down, or activate Siri however you'd like, I'll just do it my way. Turn on assistive touch, and then it'll go ahead and turn it on. Open assistive touch settings. It's the easiest way to get there. Otherwise, if you wanna get there manually, We'll back up, it's general, accessibility, assistive touch, and then here we are. So under the custom actions, this is where we'll set up the different functions for the single tap, double tap, long press, and hard press. So just click on single tap, and then you can select whichever one you want. So I have home, double tap, I have app switcher, and then long press, I have screenshot. And then I went ahead and reduced the duration of the screenshot to be the lowest possible because it's by default 3.35 seconds and that just kind of takes too long for me. And then 3D touch, I have open menu. And then to configure the menu that you saw whenever I did the 3D touch, you can go here and push customize top level menu. You can do a plus and then push the plus that appears, and then you can add whatever you want there. So that's basically it. I like this way because it allows me to use the phone easier with one hand and also when I'm in the car driving. If you have any other suggestions or ideas for shortcuts that you think are neat or cool, let me know at hello at theproductivityshop.co. If you have any questions as well, you can ask me there or on the Productivity Shop Slack channel. Thanks a bunch for watching. See you next time.